Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena. The Big 12 Women's Basketball Tournament tips off tonight. A couple of games, Kansas and Kansas State at 6 o'clock. That's the 8-9 game. And then the 7-10 game is TCU and Texas Tech after that. Four games will be here on Saturday, beginning in the morning with Oklahoma State and Iowa State at 11 o'clock. And then finishing up tomorrow night with OU and Texas. That game's scheduled to start at 8.30. The Sooners and the Cowgirls both on the practice floor today down at Chesapeake Energy Arena. And we had a chance to talk with OU head coach Sherry Cole and star guard Aaron Ellenberg and also with OSU coach Jim Littell and star point guard Tiffany Bias. How excited are you to be here and then play in front of basically right at home? Well, very excited to be playing the Big 12 tournament in Oklahoma City. It, uh, it feels like home turf to us, even though we don't obviously compete in this arena. But we feel surrounded by familiarity and by support and uh, want to play well and make these folks proud. What are your expectations for your team heading into this tournament? I want to beat Texas. But the emotions a little bit more revved up, you think, you know, in that it's March and this is just kind of you know, a clean slate, you know, for every team type thing? There's always a big breath of fresh air that teams inhale at this point in the season. You know, some coaches don't like conference tournaments. I love conference tournaments. They're so fun. Uh, there's a, a great camaraderie and yet great rivalry at the same time and great pride in a league like this where every team is so good and anything can happen. It's just an exciting weekend for women's basketball, another opportunity to promote and grow our sport. Are you guys, like you said, it won't be too hard to get your team up knowing you're playing Texas. <laughs> no, a nice little Red River rivalry for uh, the nightcap on Saturday. Texas, a very good team. Karen Aston's done a fantastic job with them. We played two really close games, went to the wire, both of them lost one, won one. Um, so it'll be, a, it, it should be a lot of fun. Sure. does this give you guys at all maybe a, an advantage over other people being basically a home turf? for you guys? You know what, I always think advantages are states of mind that you can put yourself in regardless of where you are. I think it's a choice that you make. And so, yes, to answer your question, we've made that choice. You guys like the fact that you're playing the night game rather than, you know, having to play an early game like, like OSU is tomorrow? You know what, I think, again, there are pros and cons to each and it depends upon how you approach it. Um, we sometimes practice in the morning on the weekends. Uh, we've played some really late games on ESPN. We've played some early games. But it, I'm not sure it really matters. you just got to be ready when the time comes. Are, are you guys going back and forth to Norman, or are you staying in a hotel up, up here? Or what? How does that work? Um, no, we're going back today, this morning, uh, primarily because hotel rooms weren't ready for us yet because we're not staying until tonight, obviously. But, uh, no, we stay here um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, we want to be a part of the event, and I think it's hard to really be a part of the event uh, when you're not here. I also think uh, it's important to Oklahoma City who who bid this out and uh, who um, put themselves on the line and they want a full hotel and they want their restaurants to be used and we want to be a part of promoting that. Do you notice a little bit more excitement in your girls because of this time of the season with March Madness like right upon us now? Oh yeah, they uh, athletes sense it. It's like a, uh, it, you smell it coming and uh, almost Almost the moment the calendar flips to March, there is just a, a renewed vibrato in everyone and, and just a, um, an excitement that's it's difficult to explain, but you can feel it. How's Erin doing? I know she came back from the concussion, but is she kind of back to normal? You know what? Um, Vegas has a really hard head, so we were not the <laughs> least bit worried about her. She is right back to her on herself. Erin, just talk about uh, what's the excitement level like with the Big 12 tournament starting for you guys tomorrow? Um, it's really exciting because it's it's kind of like a clean slate. Whatever happened in the past is done. You know, all you got to do is come in here and and win three games and play well and you're cutting down a net. So it's, it's pretty exciting to get that started. Is there a comfort level playing in Oklahoma City where basically you have a home court and bit advantage in a sense? Yeah, for sure, because we'll have probably a lot of fans here. So it'll be pretty exciting to have a crowd behind us uh, here. Aaron, how do you how do you feel right now? Your Sherry said that you, you got a hard head, so she thought you'd be okay. Are you how are you feeling right now? I'm I'm pretty good. I mean, my head's fine. Everything's normal, so I'm just excited to get started.
imagine there's some extra excitement too, at least for the fans maybe, that you're playing Texas right off the bat right here in Oklahoma City. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those rivalry things, so it's always a pride thing when you play against your rival. Um, I mean, it'll be no different than any other time. It'll be a good game. We just got to play each other's tendencies and, and make baskets, really. Do you, do you like the later start time? Um, I don't know if it really makes a difference to me. I mean, it is sort of late, so you got to get your body up and moving and not get too tired. But, I mean, it, it should be no problem. Are you guys a little bit more revved up because it's March, March Madness? It's, the coach was saying you can kind of just feel it because it's in, a, in the air when you flip that calendar. Yeah, I mean, it's the best time of the year. I mean, it's all about the tournament. That's what we play for, so it, it's pretty exciting. Do you feel like there's work left to do, uh, especially, you know, with your tournament chances coming up and everything? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of work to do. I mean, we're still continuing to play and get better. So, I mean, that's what it's all about, playing the best basketball you can this time of the month. How excited are you, be, or are you to be here and then get to play so close to home? Well, we're very excited to be here and, and the proximity of the tournament. Uh, uh, it's like a home game for us. We've had the privilege to play here at the, at the peak when we played South Florida earlier in the year and got a good win in here. So I think our kids are ready and they're excited to go. Jim, does that help at all having played a game in here this season? I think so. I mean, uh, just being familiar with the surroundings, playing on that floor. Um, I don't think we're going to be in awe of playing in here, and I think that's going to help us. I know you guys just had a tough loss to Iowa State. How big will that be to get another chance at them and an uh, opportunity? Well, I mean, it's, it's a different ball game now, and they shot the ball extremely well. We're one and one against them, and they got a good basketball team that's playing extremely well right now, so we need to make sure that uh, we defend, take the three away, and, and make shots ourselves. How big is this weekend for the big tournament coming up and getting a you know high seed and everything? Oh, I think you can you can help yourself or or you can hurt yourself in a tournament like this. Uh, we've solidified ourselves pretty strong in the tournament uh, by finishing third in the number one RPI conference in America. So we think we're going to get a good seed, but uh, we're anxious to play in the tournament and, and try to improve our seed. Is there a feeling that you know it's a clean slate type thing? Everyone's coming in here kind of you know dead even and. You know, whatever happened in the past doesn't really matter. Well, we've told our players that there's uh, uh, four seasons. There's a non-conference season, then there's the conference season, and then you've got two mini seasons with the Big 12 tournament and the NCAA tournament. So we're in that mini season where everybody's zero and zero. <laughs> <laughs> What's the excitement level of this team with the Big 12 tournament um, starting tomorrow for you girls? Uh, I think we're all excited. I think we're ready to get back on the court, especially we lost Iowa State at home. And I think we're ready to just have a, have a, a good experience out on the court and, you know, play in front of our fans since we're so close to Stillwater and a lot of our fans are coming up to watch us. Is there more of a comfort level knowing that you kind of have, you know, just that home base behind you type thing? Uh, I think so. I think a lot since we have such a young team, I think a lot of people feel comfortable with that. You see a lot more orange in the, fa uh, in the stands and it's a good uh, experience for them. And I think that we'll be ready to play no matter what, if it's a good, com if it's a comfortable experience or not. How big is it for you guys to have already played a game in here, the one you played here earlier this season? Uh, I think it's great. I mean, we got the feel for the goal, the nets, and the floor, and I think that just the arena in general is a big arena, and I think that we're all ready to play. I think two goals, a ball still, so I think we still play basketball. <laughs> what would it mean for you guys to cut down that net? Um, every day. I think we've done it, and I think that would be great to get two wins in the Big 12. I mean. Three would be great, especially cut down the net. I think it'd be a great experience for this program. How important is this weekend for your NCAA tournament hopes and what you want to do, the high seed and everything like that? Uh, very important. I think that we lost a couple that we shouldn't have lost, and I think that we're out here battling, and I think that any win's a good win for us. How you guys play in this tournament momentum-wise could really help you just in terms of carrying that you know, momentum over into the NCAA tournament? Absolutely. I think that we've been a little in a shooting slump, and I think that everyone's shooting great these last couple of practices, and I think that wins just make it even better. You get confidence with your team, and you just start flowing, but I think our team's playing really well together. Are the emotions just a little bit more revved up because it's March Madness? I mean, this is the time that you guys have waited for all season long. Yeah, I think you can really see the urgency in people's faces and knowing, like, this is the last couple games, and I think people are really pushing themselves and pushing and giving all they got. You mentioned you guys have had a couple of tough losses, but do you guys feel pretty good overall about yourself right now? 
I think so. I think that you have to move past it and you have to just go to the next game and go to the next practice. And I think that with this team, we have such great players and you can't just worry about that. You have to move to the next game where you know your game's going to be in a slump. The Sooners and the Cowgirls all set for tomorrow's action. And remember that all starts Saturday morning at 11 o'clock with OSU and Iowa State. There'll be four games. And at the end of the evening at 8.30, that's the scheduled tip time, it'll be OU and Texas. And also remember on Reno Avenue between the Cox Center and Chesapeake Energy Arena where they have Thunder Alley during Thunder Games, it will be the Big 12 Fan Fest. So lots of interactive games for the kids. So there'll be plenty of things to do down here. And tickets are still available for the Big 12 Women's Championships that begin tonight at 6.